Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. The next setting we're going to go over is the infill setting. As you can see, I have a model already sliced here, and my infill density is set to 0%. It seems to be filling the model in entirely until you look into this area right here, and you can see that there's a cavity there. That's because that area would normally have the infill, but instead I've increased my walls to be 3 millimeters thick, giving it 7 passes and giving it a lot more structural integrity and something to build upon on the outside. And in this case, with a little bit of added tree support, the model will print without any problems and without any infill. Now it's debatable whether or not you save any filament printing it this way versus printing it with infill, but for some models having it completely hollow is actually an advantage. So that being said, those are settings from the last thing we covered. Right now we're going to cover infill density and we're going to check it out, put it to 15 here. Um, when we're talking about the density of the infill, we are talking about how much of the interior of the model is filled with that, that infill pattern that you've chosen. You can see the pattern right here. There are several of them to choose from. These first three right here basically just grow upwards in a standard column formation. It will print a cubic or triangular grid and basically stack them on top of each other layer by layer. These ones down here will basically rotate as you are building upwards to give a more optimal coverage of the inside of the model and still retain that infill density that you set right here. Now when you set the density higher, it's going to make that pattern tighter and more complex and intricate. It's going to make it smaller basically to the eye and you can actually set this to 100% and make a model solid that is doable. Basically, that is it for infill. I'm slicing this model real quick. I will show you a couple of the different infill patterns. This here is preview mode. We are currently looking at cubic infill. As you can see, it is printing the same pattern in a vertical fashion. Basically, those triangular shapes just to support the inside of the model. And that's basically what it is. It's support for the inside. And we'll talk more about support when we get to that section. But uh, there are several different patterns to choose from. Let me show you one of the ones that does rotate really quick as you move up. And as you can see, I've increased the infill density to 25. So you can see a little bit better our pattern here. And it has increased the amount of lines in our infill pattern, reducing the scale of the pattern, but increasing the amount of plastic that is put down. Now we can scroll through just a little bit here and you can see it moving the pattern as they crash and coalesce into the same pattern basically but on different levels to make a stronger firmer model all the way throughout. That's going to be it for infill. We will move on to the next video. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.